What's going on everybody? Richie here, Hybrid Athletics. Uh, yesterday I did a video about maximizing your natural potential by milking your beginner gains. And while I did it, I sort of touched on the topic of um, body image issues in men. Um, you know, body image issues are something that's more common nowadays. Um, well, I, I would assume just with the, uh, the rise and the prevalence of social media, um, exposure to the elite of the elite when it comes to genetics, um, not to mention that it's nece not necessarily as taboo maybe as it once was to use PEDs. Um, on top of that, you have people that use PEDs um, and that do bodybuilding, for example, and uh, then they're selling supplements and they're also selling programs and they claim that they're natural uh, and all you need to do is buy their supplements, buy their programs and um, that you can look like them as long as you work hard enough, right? And um, this is a really big problem and I think that this is a huge contributor to uh, body image issues with men. Um, we hear about women and body image issues, you know, uh, but now they're sort of coming out with the fat acceptance thing um, which, you know, has has a lot of problems um, in and of itself for, for other reasons, uh, mostly health. Um, it's the main problem that I have with the whole fat acceptance thing. Um, but, um, you know, we, we hear about body image issues with uh, women a lot, but I don't think we hear about it with men as much, I think, because with men it's sort of a, it's sort of like a hush-hush thing, you know? But uh, it is very common. It's very common. And not only is it common, um, it's starting to be more common in uh, boys. For example, I have friends that have, you know, 10-year-old, 11-year-old boys that, uh, you know, they're wondering why they don't have shredded six-pack and huge uh, arms and chest, you know. And um, I can remember being a kid and wanting to be big and strong when I grew up. But I also understood that I was a I was a child, so you know, I don't look like that. And I mean, we're talking about kids now that haven't even gone through puberty that are they're worried about that and they're think, saying, "Oh, I look fat," and I'm like, "No, you're not fat. You're just a little dude, man. You know, you you're eleven. <laughs> you you're like just a few years removed from being an actual baby. Um, so just." Just take it easy, you know, start lifting now, but just focus on getting stronger and, you know, one day you'll, you'll be jacked. But here's the problem. These kids are comparing themselves to these people that are on drugs and they don't know, they don't know what PEDs are, you know, they're just believing what they're hearing. And a lot of, and this, this doesn't even just apply to kids, this applies to just a lot of people that are new into fitness, period. And then they can go to the gym and they can work out for a year, make great progress, gain 15 pounds of muscle, um, and then still be discouraged. Because our perception of what's normal is so warped now. Um, and I think that's why for us that are in the know, we, we sort of have a responsibility to stop promoting bodybuilding as much. Um, you know, I appreciate certain things about bodybuilding, but uh, when it comes down to professional bodybuilders, they are, they're lab tests. You know, they're doing ungodly amounts of drugs uh, to look like freaks. That's, it's a freak show, is really what it is. I mean, um, you know, uh, I'm not trying to badmouth anybody's passion, but you know, the, it is a freak show, it, 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 without a doubt. These guys aren't healthy. They're very unhealthy. They're some of the most unhealthy people in the world. So we need to stop making it like this is the image of health, especially for new people, because it's an irresponsible way uh, to treat people who are just getting into fitness. Um, here's another thing. Uh, here, here's just a, another thing to prove like how warped people's perceptions are. So. Um, I have a FFMI of uh, fat-free mass index of 23.8, right? 
so 9% body fat at uh, 188 pounds is the FFMI of 23.8. Uh, 22 to 23, you're in the top 20, uh, you, I mean, you're in the top 5% of the entire population of the world. Uh, 25 and more than likely, unless you have the most elite of elite genetics, more than likely you're on some sort of performance enhancing drug. Right, I'm nearing 24, and I have had people come on my channel and uh, you know badmouth me and comment uh, saying, "Why do you even make fitness videos? Uh, your body doesn't even look that crazy." Right now, I mean, I'm mature enough to take that with a grain of salt and understand some people are just trolling, um, but. Even if he was just trolling, it, you, there's something subconscious there. Because um, maybe he wasn't. Maybe he really is looking at me like, dude, you don't even look like you lift. Uh, when meanwhile, I'm in the top, I'm probably in the top 3% of the population. Right? I'm not saying this to brag, I'm just saying this is the numbers, guys. Um, and a lot of people, and I think that would shock a lot of people, actually. It, I'm not going to lie, it even kind of shocked me <laughs> when I saw that. Cause I look at sometimes I look at myself in the mirror like, do I even lift? Because I'm so used to seeing these freaks and these, and you know, and and not just freaks, people on drugs, but also le like genetic freaks, which the the, the God honest truth is most of us will never reach those levels, um, even with all the um, you know good programming, healthy eating, and even if even to use drugs, many of us might never reach those levels. And uh, it's become so common to see these people through social media because obviously the, the, the freakiest of the freaky are gonna have huge followings more often than not. Um, so we, so now as a society and a community, we've come to see these things like, oh, this isn't the exception, this is normal. But the, the truth is that it's not. These people are the exception. They just have a large um, following, right? And they're just, and they have they have exposure to a lot of people, so these are other things that we need to to um, to start promoting. Other ideas that we need to start promoting that um, it's okay for everyone to not reach those levels. Now that doesn't mean don't try hard. That doesn't mean accept mediocrity. I think we should all strive to be the best we can, but we also need to temper expectations a lot, and we also need to help newcomers into the fitness game. And uh, younger generations temper their expectations of what's actually possible. And we need to stop promoting, you know, um, a certain bodybuilding image as like the epitome of health, right? When, when in actuality, you know, there's people out there that are actually really healthy, natural, hardworking athletes. Um, and other people are, you know, pretty much... Uh, shaming them in a way or you know talking down on them when it's really like we should have more people striving to be like that so I think we need to change that uh, perception and this video is sort of just a bit of a rant um, and also made to sort of to just raise awareness on a topic that I don't think is really talked about because you know people are scared like oh you know you're a guy you have body images you just you you bitch you know what I'm saying you pussy things like that, and it's not like that at all. I mean, I think it's actually really common um, for people. Um, and so I think, as, you know, we need to change the culture a little bit and start um, start promoting uh, better role models, you know, better role models of, of health instead of ch like just an image or start associating uh, an image with with drug use, right? And and being unhealthy, which is which is what it is, and start associating a you know a different image that maybe people aren't like oh he looks like a freak, but start associating that with like this is what a healthy, uh, fit, natural man looks like, right? Uh, so um, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. Just the thought that was on my head, um, and um, you know I just hope that this video finds somebody out there who maybe they're. Uh, 
they're they're feeling insecure about the way they look uh, and you know they're looking up to these other guys it's like you know sometimes you have to just ask yourself okay are they being completely honest is there an ulterior motive are they trying to sell something um, do they have super enhanced you know shoulders and traps um, you know which that's where many of the, our androgen receptors are located you know these these are um, these have a, a, a uh, PEDs happen to affect these muscle areas more than they would like in the legs. So you have to just ask yourself these questions sometimes, you know, is it a professional athlete? You know, um, a lot of professional athletes, even guys you, you might not expect, they're, they're on something and they don't always have to be jacked. You know, you look at cyclists, you know, due to ride cycles, um, how many of them were on PEDs? Do any of them are any of them really Jack? No, you know. So you never really know uh, exactly who it is. But what I'm trying to say is temper your expectations. Uh, don't get down on yourself. You shouldn't get really fast results. You know, you should make good progress in a year, and then um, the year after that, you should also make good progress too. And then after that, your progress is going to slow down for a little bit. But you know what? There really um, there shouldn't be a rush. And I think in social media culture. There's a rush nowadays where people want to, they want everything and they want it right away. You know, they don't want to waste time. They don't want to put in the hard work, um, and they don't care if it costs years off their life. And a lot of these guys um, that you might look up to, they that's what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. Um, but um, you know, a lot of them aren't going to be around for that long, and a lot of them aren't going to be doing this later on in their life. A lot of them might not even live that long. Sad, sadly. But you know that's the price that they're paying for instant gratification uh, and fame, and sometimes just in an attempt to, you know, um, to uh, satisfy their their fetish. You know, it's really what it is. But um, so yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> uh, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Hybrid Athletics, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the box below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, take it easy. I'll talk to you next time.